What's up guys and welcome back to another video. What's up guys? Today we're gonna to be fixing our sound system and adding a couple more speakers to the truck. So this is a little setup that I want right here where there's two speakers and then one tweeter on the top and one on the bottom. Like that. And we're gonna just put it in here. I just took this off right here, but this little panel is here. So I want something, like I said, that I can remove easily. So I'm probably just gonna do like a flat piece and then maybe do like a little contour around this area from here, probably to where the amp is right here, from there to there, which is about 14 and a half, which is gonna be a tight squeeze, but I think we can do it. So we're all carpenters in our family, so you know I'm gonna make it out of wood. So we're gonna make it out of wood, and like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna um, wrap it in the same carpet material, or if I'm gonna wrap it in a suede, I have some suede material, or I can wrap it also in the color of the truck, so we'll see right now. But anyways, stay tuned, make sure you guys subscribe because um, in the next couple weeks, we're getting a new project truck. I'm gonna go ahead and get a new project truck for the channel, something that a lot of you guys would love. So um, stay tuned, it's gonna be a whole build um, from stock all the way to like real nice. So um, everything, everything, like we're, stay tuned. This year's gonna be a good year. We're also gonna try to make it to a couple truck shows this year. Uh, first one is March 19. Uh, <laughs> We're gonna try to make it out there, but let's get started on this titty panel here I'm gonna try to get as much finished in this video. Hopefully the whole thing, you know It is Sunday. It's a beautiful day. I'm gonna try to get as much done as I can today. So let's get started um, I'm gonna start off by if you guys want to follow this same tutorial I'm gonna give you directions exactly how I'm gonna make it so I'm gonna start off by cutting a piece of wood um, I think I'm gonna use three-fourths wood and I'm gonna use um, one piece which is gonna be 14 and a half by 10 and a half and that's gonna be the main part and I'm gonna cut some holes on it and then we're gonna make it into like a, a little thicker so we can fit the magnet there so like I said start off by cutting a uh, one piece of three-fourths MDF or plywood I have some leftover plywood so I'm gonna use some plywood uh, three fourths and we're gonna do um, 14 and a half by 10 and a half All right guys, so this is our piece here So you guys can see how it's gonna be there you go. That's a That's a spot where it's gonna go This is our face. So this part's gonna go out a little bit bigger right here. I have to measure How much space I need right here? I think I need a total of maybe three inches for the magnet so I'm just gonna build onto it put like a strip behind it and build onto it So it goes like this. So it's a little bit and we have some room back there Something like that, but first I'm gonna be cutting out our holes Right here measure everything Measure three times Make sure we got everything perfect where it's gonna be and then I have some uh, hole saw where I'm gonna cut the six six inch six inch and then I think these are Two and a fourth, or I'll take some measurements right now, but I'll check what it is. But I know that these are six inches, even though six and a half, six and a half is a whole thing. But I only need six inches. So I'll do six inches here, six inches here first. I'll cut those first, and then I'll go about that. So let me get started with that first. All right, I have my piece of wood outside, and using a tape measure, I'm measuring the distance between everything. And I think this is a good setup. It still gives me a small little lip here. And then it still gives me a small little lip over here. A little bit thicker in the front middle. And now I'm just gonna put my tweeters here. So take good measurements. Like I said, measure three times and only cut one. So I'm gonna put my tweeters on each side here. Measure those, make sure that they're equally distant from everything. And then I think we're ready to just cut it out. So this is how it looks right now before we cut anything. I did purchase this hole saw right here. So remember, I measured writing that way. It's only it's six and a half, so the hole's going to be smaller than this because it's going to have to have a little bit of wiggle room to attach to. But um, I purchased this um, hole saw. I'll put this in the link down below, like I said, and then I put a little mark right in the middle, and I'm going to cut that right through like that. 
and then I'll get another hole saw for these little ones here. So I'll show you guys how that looks when it's all said and done. All right, guys, we got our holes cut out. Sheesh, look at this thing. It's perfect. Now I'm just going to add some depth to this. So I'll probably add maybe an inch and a half more. I got to measure this, how much I need. And then we're going to go ahead and maybe add a little router all the way around to make it a little smoother edge. And then decide what we're going to wrap it in. I guess I'll put a couple materials next to it and put it on there. And I don't know, maybe I'll wrap it the same color as the truck, like I said. This green material. Or, um, I do have some suede material there. I'll see what looks better. But, sheesh, look at that. It looks nice. Real nice. Alright, I'm test fitting everything just to make sure everything's right. So, let me catch you guys up on what I've been doing. Oh, man, there's... Alright, so I ended up cutting... These two little sections here, they measure two and a half by 10. I'm leaving half an inch here to do a half an inch panel that will go, let me show you. That will go all the way to the end of this top part here. All the way to the end of this top part here to the back of the window. So that way it's like nice and flush. And then this is what we have so far. So now I'm trying to figure out, I was going to do a backing to this, but I think I could just leave it open like this. It's not too bad. It's a pretty good seal on each side. So now I just have to cut the one that goes here, which I think it's going to be three and three fourths um, by, I got to take three fourths off each side and cut this. Actually, no, it's going to be the whole panel of this. So this was 14 and a half. So it's going to be three and three fourths by 14 and a half. This bottom one is where I'm going to have to take off like 3 fourths, 3 fourths and put a bottom piece there. Which again, I probably don't even have to put anything down there to be honest. But I'll put something down there just so we don't have a lot of trash or anything going there. But that's pretty much it. Right now I'm trying to figure out if I should router these ends and to do like a smooth side. I can probably just no oh, it's too tight i was gonna say i can probably just run it and come, make it come out through here but the hole that i made here is too tight so i'm just going to do a small little hole here just so the wires can pass through and then everything's going to be attached with l brackets so I'll, put, I'll do two l brackets one here and one on the other side just to hold everything secure that way if i ever want to remove this it's pretty easy it's pretty easy to remove so let me go ahead and finish this little box setup and I'll come back to you guys. All right guys, box is pretty much done. This is how it looks. Bam. So I could add maybe like a small panel just to cover it up and seal it, but I think I'm just gonna leave it like this, see how it sounds. I don't believe, I mean, let me know down below, does it have to be sealed? I think it's just really for uh, subwoofers. But um, I'm gonna run it like that, like I said, because if I put, if I seal it, I feel like it might get too hot because it's like right on the magnet. Without that, I have a pretty much like an inch in the back, which is pretty good. And I did use my router uh, to router the sides to make it a nice clean look. I decided I'm gonna be using this uh, suede material that I have here to wrap the whole thing. But before I do any of that, I am gonna make a hole here on the side just so I can run the wires through. Um, like I said, I could run it through the back. It's just too much of a hassle. So it doesn't take me long to just do a little hole here. And then wrap it all in that suede material. All right, guys, I went ahead and made our hole for the wires there. And now I sprayed some of this um, Loctite spray adhesive. I'm not sure if it's good, but I mean, I had it laying around there. And I think you're just supposed to wait till this tacks up. Let's see, let dry. All right, it does say let dry. Let dry. So I'm gonna give it a minute. All right guys, there we have it. This thing's looking badass. All wrapped. I need to clean up these holes, but nevertheless, we got the suede in. Let me show you how it's gonna look up here. Right there, it's perfect. Look at that. Damn, look how badass that looks. Now we're just gonna do some L brackets, maybe just two, holding it in place. 
right here and the other side just so it won't be bouncing around and that's pretty much it honestly this thing is coming out real nice plenty of space back here plenty of space for the tweeter and everything our tweeters actually gonna be installed from behind so we're probably gonna have to install these before we put the box because otherwise we're not gonna be able to get back here all right guys I got the box in here now that's the L bracket I put right there so I'll put a bolt here and a bolt on the other side of here nice and stable all my wirings right here I'm gonna finish putting uh, screwing in the uh, speakers all right guys it's all set up but I do have to buy some black screws that match but look how nice that looks I need to clean all this wood dust out of here but I still need to tune the system so I can't give you a full um, review right now Let me know what you guys think about this system. I'm tired. I'm gonna end it here. Like I said, I had this whole um, beauty panel already set up. I had already put Bondo and everything on it. But um, after thinking about wrapping this, I think it just looked tacky. I wanted to keep it simple, and I think it looks really, really nice. Just look at it. Look at that suede. Like I said, I still need to clean it up. I got this brush right here. It's kind of hard to like vacuum it out. I'm kind of just brushing all this little grain out. But look at that suede. I think it looks a lot better now. I wish I could paint these. Maybe I'll paint them in the future so they kind of match this color here. Because red kind of looks a little weird, you know? Since I don't have anything else red inside. But let me know what you guys think about it in the section down below. Do you guys like the setup? Do you guys think it looks weird? I mean, obviously, it would look a lot better if it was fiberglass then, but I think for a different kind of setup. Oh, and let's test out. Let's actually test out if we can still put the seat up. Because that was the whole point of this. And it is removable, like I said. Um, I made it so I could remove it easily. I made it so people could jack this easily, you know? Bam, perfect. See? Still works. It's not hitting or anything perfect. But there we have it. We got two DS18 tweeters. We got two DS18 um, uh, six and a half. And then we have a Hyphonics. How many watts is this? 1200. Running a total of now one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, six speakers and two tweeters. If you guys would like me to go into depth of how I wired everything, let me know down below. I'll make another video. But I don't want to make this video too long. Appreciate you guys watching. Thank you guys. We're at 20,000 subscribers now. This year's our year. Like I said, we got another project truck coming in. We got um, shows, truck shows we're going to be attending. And we're going to try to make as many vlogs as we can in this year. So make sure you guys subscribe if you guys haven't subscribed. But that's going to be it for this one, guys. Stay tuned for the next one.